All right, all right, all right. We are back with Mass Effect Andromeda. Let's head to Pedromos, finish up that quest, and see what else the galaxy wants to throw at us. for you she is okay we'll talk to her uh, when we get above eels Go talk to Cora since she wants something so so badly. Unless the door doesn't want to unlock. A Look at you. Your outpost. Finally. Wait, there's a side quest on the ship? Better be worth all that time Ryder put into it. If they fail, the report from the Nexus population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter, only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It's a nice idea. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome, too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, 
being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Here's hoping. Though, um, there's not much discrimination against biotics at all. So, I don't know where you lived, but they sound like a bunch of backwards hicks. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Sophie. Were you talking? Alright, squad. I got an unknown, Drac. PB. Let's go, PB. The scent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Oh my god. Okay, that was strange. Okay, so gotta talk to this person here. Is that it? Memory trigger. Memory trigger was something we can all pick pick up way later. Can I can I speak to you? Hello, Kim Connor. Supplies, trade, procurement. Anything you need, I can provide. Though you do have the Queen Quartermaster beside you. You know Vetra? Back on the Nexus, Connor worked with me to get everything for the Tempest. <coughs> but I need ground under my feet, and soon, hopefully, trade will flourish on Eos. Trade partners coming on German supply, Vetra. You said you know Vetra. What's she really like? Not a word, Connor. As you like. Of course, you can't always be listening. <laughs> Is EOS trading with any new partners? Right now, just the Nexus. But I have contracts with Wildcat salvages and independent miners. There will be more. Sounds good. See you later. Be well. Come back again. The way she's standing there like she's about ready to rip her fucking head off. Pathfinder, Darkit, Trevian. I understand I was pulled from Cryo ahead of schedule. My family is grateful, but I consider it my debt. Everyone gets out eventually. That may be, but the least I can do is show you the benefit. I'm exo studies now, but in a former life, let's say I knew tactics. If I supplied the Ket on this planet, I drifted in, and there's only so many gravitational paths. Here's some navs to check for anomalies. Good hunting, Pathfinder. Thank you. All right, well, that seems our work is done here. Let's go out in the world. Let's actually, uh, not that. Check to see. Wait, what? Visit siblings appearing in Cryo Bay, maybe later. What is our priority mission? Back up we go. Ascent is go. Leaving Apple. All clear. Rider. Okay, let's venture out. on a collision course. 
reinforced with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. All stop now! Oh shit! Cat ships. A dozen. No, more. They've got us pinned against the Scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back! Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. You can't take a ship full of people just because you feel like it. Who do you think you are? Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Oh boy, okay. Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. It will be tight. Hello? Yes! Okay. <laughs> nice work, kid. <laughs> yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find a support now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a comm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear we're the galactic good guys. Efanola, Fahan and Gasad Regara. Efanola. <laughs> They're forcing us to land. Then we land. Jeez. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. That vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Need me to take my shoes off? They have dog goes. Nathan Roa. Uh 
I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Jol. I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? I apologize. Landing here the way we did, without warning, on fire, was not the plan. That's good to know. Because if it was, that would be a very bad plan. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. Okay, so the army. What's happening? I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This isn't the same. It belongs in a containment cell. We're going to shy him. You don't know what you're doing. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. It wasn't really an invasion, more like a, uh... A near crash landing. <laughs> How did it find us? She, not it. And stop staring. Oh shit, okay. Well, it's just a scanner. Put it away now. Take it easy. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. Okay, well through here. Let's hope we don't get shot on the spot. They are bullies. But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. 
It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We... can't help you. The Musha I could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us. And you. I mean... Does it have to be her? There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel. Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarov. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. <laughs> I hope I don't regret this. Me too. I mean, I'd hope you understand she doesn't understand your customs yet. She just landed. Um, is there supposed to be somebody here? Hello? I've organized my analysis of Aya. Ah. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? <laughs> Wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We pay for things with a currency called credits. Abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts. Made odd bargains, never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. And what do you offer? That's negotiable, that's complicated. It's technically very negotiable, it depends on what you want. I don't know. Uh, what do you want? Your ship? Not for sale. <laughs> Worth a try. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. Sounds good. You're one of few people here willing to give me a chance. I'll take it. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Culver. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Okay, there's another side quest over here. Am I not allowed back within the city? Enjoy the docks. For now, that's all you have access to. Okay, that's what I thought. Careful. Oh, hello. Stars above, it's you. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah, this is home now. 
To take such a risk and give up your old life. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajar, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And, the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? Uh, nothing? Other than the cat, nothing. I still have a lot to learn. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know, and if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. Takes guts to stand up to him. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. You're trusting your history with an outsider? I know what people say about you, but I don't agree. I think you're here to help. I am. Now's your chance to prove it. You want to earn Aya's respect, right? Recovering our past will go a long way. Alright, well I'll look into it. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. And what sort of rumors about her could be spreading within the past 20 minutes that she's been on the planet? I mean, that would really just prove that people make shit up for the fun of it and then others believe it to be true. Anything else I can scan around here? That ship's already been scanned. All right, back to the Tempest. Oh. Right on here, ship six up and ready to fly. I am Enro Bosan, assistant to Governor Paranshai. You're free to explore this area, but the city is off limits. Until that changes, I'll be your liaison. How may I help you, Pathfinder? You don't just stand here waiting to answer my questions, right? I assist the Governor in all matters. While you're here, this is my priority. Pretty far outside your normal job, huh? I did not begin this day expecting to speak with it. You? <laughs> nice yeah. save. Yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, Re-entering the city. And Garin words, Joe. Or worlds, dear lord. What can you tell me about your other worlds? Life on them is hard. The people harder. Every day is a struggle to survive. Why not bring everyone here? We will not abandon any more worlds to the Ket. And Aya cannot support all of us. I understand that. When am I allowed to visit the city again? That's not for me to decide. Who will? Your boss? Or Ephra? Governor Shai has jurisdiction over Aya. She will authorize your entrance if you earn Ephra's trust. You spoke with Soko and Avela. Help them, and you may help yourself. The Ket swayed us with words. Now we judge outsiders by their actions. Understood. Sounded like you and Jal know each other. Our families are related. You sound nothing alike. We have multiple worlds. Our culture is complex. I'd like to know more. Earn our trust and maybe you will. Alright, see you later. Thanks for your time, Enro. Of course. Back aboard. Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing like it. Wait till you see the inside. <laughs> it gets better? Oh yeah. You ready to go? Yep, let's go. I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew.
I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. I know we're improvising as we go, but let's remember that there is Pathfinder team protocol. Don't think I got that handbook. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's Nangara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Joel? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. I'll think, thanks, who me? Yes, it is. Let me weigh the options. I'll let you know. We'll be ready, whatever you decide. Jal, give Kello the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Okay. Turn to the Tempest. We are on the Tempest. Uh, goes to either Volder or uh, Varl. I know PB wanted to talk to me because it came up. But first, let's talk Still to Still compiling my first impressions. But... So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. No one on my ship thinks that way. We're a team. Oh, I, I was uh, talking about my discomfort with your living arrangements, not about any uh, pre prejudice I harbor. I'm an alien. We are all strangers. I... perhaps then... If we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. <laughs> okay. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant, too? 
A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's kept. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use, but I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> hmm. You're right. I signed up, uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Okay. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value? That sounds like a compliment. A nice one. Yeah. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. Well, this will be fun. As if I didn't have enough on my plate? Add deciphering alien psychology. What plate? Exactly. See you <laughs> later. Okay, so he doesn't get metaphors. Oh, he just ran all the way back here. Is that an inflatable bed? Yes? Uh, yourself? What? What's your story, Joel? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. You're messing with me, right? Possibly. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, it's an idiom. Means you're joking, trying to make me feel uncomfortable. Ah, then no. Ephra instructed me to be cautious. I'm not very good at being cautious. That's enough. Until we've established a better trust with each other. Okay. What is this that this wants me? Oh, is that still the strike teams? I think it's still the strike teams. Right, let's talk to Pete. Aya has so much biodiversity and the waterfalls. Just like Circuit. Ash. Gary wants another interview. Is PB back in here now? Oh, recover a rum tech site on Vol. Okay. Let's go back to the Nexus and give Carrie that interview before we go do anything else. Anomaly detected. Oh. Probe away. That was an accident. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Okay, Varro Nexus, there it is.
Okay. There are a couple of things that I need to do here. Wait, nope. Journal. Journal. Nexus. I could have swore she wanted an interview. Is it under additional tasks? Yes, it is. I'm glad we did. Protesters, what the fuck? Sure, let me know what materials you want to offer. Clan before cronies. Seems quiet in hell. Hey, Clan what's going on? Crony. That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan, brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. I, I, you know... We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. This is a big issue. Bigger than just my say-so. Bullshit. You're the hero right now. They'll do anything you say. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her. Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Okay. Any word? There's like... What? Ten of them, maybe? It seems like everybody fully understands that we don't have enough resources or food to feed everybody. All right, Kandros, this is not at all what I came up here for, but... Glad to see you, finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks. Dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. We only just got on our feet. Plus, it messes up the schedule again. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. That's not necessary. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. God. I hate the binary choices that we have encountered so far, because we could just let them continue to protest, but just make sure they don't break anything that could cause people to starve to death or not get oxygen. So... Because we, the, the fact of the matter is there's no resources to 
probably wake these people up and keep them feet fed and put them any place. But we shouldn't be violently escorting protesters and making them stop either. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Candros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. What do you think your job is, Tan? Secure message from intelligence. Requesting armor cam footage. Okay, at least they're using body cams. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. I know this is hard, but for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled? Or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this, they'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. The only two, one of them really at risk of being irreparably different is the human. Asari and Krogan can live for like a thousand years, so calm down. Alright. Um, when we return, <laughs> we're gonna see uh, what Carrie needs from us, and what uh, um, what planet we're gonna go to next. I think we might go to Volt first? I don't know. But we'll see. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. If you're on YouTube, like comment and subscribe hit the bell button to help me out and to notify you when i put out more things and if you're on twitch drop me a follow so you can know where i'm going live and i will see you all next time mm -hmm.